Hey, so guys, today we are at my place and I'm going to be installing solar panel. But it's not this house, it's uh, this house. Let's go. about why I decided to install solar panels suddenly and is it really worth it? Well, I did a rough calculation roughly just by installing solar panel, I could potentially save up to 600 to 700 ringgit a month. Yes, you heard me right. So let me break it down for you. How is this going to happen? When you install a solar panel, what I realized is that it's able to reduce your electricity bill by close to 80%. And that's been happening to my friends who actually have solar panel and when I check with the different providers, most of them give us a rough gauge about that. This means for my house, whose electrical spending is about 300 ringgit a month, I will only need to pay less than 100 ringgit moving ahead by installing solar panel. So I got a saving of 200 over ringgit. Lo. Now, the question is, just by saving this 200 ringgit, is it worth to pay the cost of a solar panel? Well, there are a few things involved here. Firstly, because of the various incentives provided by government, now when you install a solar panel, you get 0% installment plan. So imagine, if let's say you install the most basic one, 20,000, you spread it across 5 years, 0%, well, you're going to be paying about 300 over ringgit a month. In my case, I'm already able to save 200 ringgit a month from electricity by installing solar panel. I just need to top up a little bit, then I get a solar panel. And in future, my cost of electricity will go down significantly. On top of that, there's another incentive called the Solar for Rakyat Incentive Scheme, which is Solaris. So that offers a cash rebate of up to 4,000 ringgit for residential solar installation. This means the cost of installing your solar panel is slightly cheaper and yeah, faster to ROI. So for me, it seems like a good time to do it. Remember earlier I talked about petrol subsidy? Well, this year our government is going to implement the rationalization of petrol subsidy, which means we're going to pay likely about 40 to 50% more in terms of petrol. And in my case, I spend about 400 ringgit a month for petrol. I will likely be paying about 600 ringgit a month for petrol. So this means that it could be a good time to change to EV in the next year. Why? Because there are a few things that I play as well. Next year, will be the final year for the CBU incentive for electric vehicles, which means that electric vehicles that are fully imported from overseas actually enjoy a 0% import duty. So that's why we can get it very cheap. But when this tax rebate is removed, we will need to pay much more for a CBU EV, all right? So it means that next year could be the best time to buy an EV if you have been looking for one. In my case, I am definitely thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Because if I'm gonna be paying 600 ringgit more for petrol, might as well I just change to an EV. And with solar panel, this means my charging at home will be free. So instead of paying for petrol, I'm paying for electrical bill at home, but my electrical bill is being paid for by the sun, which is solar panel. But this also comes with a cost, which is the cost of buying an EV. So if buying a car is memang in your plan, then this calculation will work. But buying your car is not in your plan and it's not within the affordability, then don't follow this method. Anyway, that's my thought process for deciding to install a solar panel. Moving from here is the question of there's so many solar panel company. Which solar panel company that I decided to work with? Alright, before we move on, here's the good news. Solari has decided to give our subscribers a special discounted rate for any solar panel installation. On top of that, you can get up to 60 months of 0% installment. Yes, so that's going to make solar panel a lot more affordable for yourself. So do take advantage of this period because government is still giving out that incentive up to 4000 ringgit for home solar panel installation so don't miss it out now once again if you want to find out more do scan this qr code and whatsapp them to get more information now let's get back to our video hey, hey. johan wow actually quite fast uh, this whole installation yeah 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 uh, i think about two 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 three hours we, we two three hours uh, uh. for those of you who are watching this video you're probably wondering uh why did i choose to install my solar panel with Solaru, right? So today we have uh, Han, 
He's the director of Solaru. Can you tell us a little bit of uh, Solaru? What's the background of this company? Solaru is wholly owned by a listed company called Perkat Group Bahad, uh, who's listed on Ace Market on Bursa, Malaysia. Solaru focuses mainly on residential and small commercial systems. Mm. Yeah. For those of you who do not know, right, one of the considerations of choosing a solar panel at the time uh, was the longevity of the company. Because Great. it's going to be on my roof for the next 10 to 20 years, right? I want to make sure that the company will be there to help me with the maintenance for that long. For me, one of the main things that convinced me to work with Solaru instead of other company was this thing called a micro-inverter. So can you tell me more about this micro-inverter? Solaru, we are one of the pioneers who brought in micro-inverters to Malaysia and we were very proud of it. But when we first started Solaru, the main thing we had in mind was safety. So we wanted to have a safe system for your house. When you are playing around with solar cells and then electricity, you want to have a very, very low DC voltage to, to reduce the risk of fire, reduce the risk of arcing and whatnot. And with micro-inverters, we achieve that because they are connected in parallel rather than in a, in one whole series like a string right. inverter. Yeah. Right. So the point is that it's going to help me to convert my uh, voltage into lower so safer for home use. Yes. But compared to the normal string inverter, usually the voltage is higher and what happens is that the chances of short circuiting or other form of uh, things fire, slightly higher probability. Mm -hmm. la. Yes, that's right. But the other main thing that also a huge benefit for using micro inverters is because they are connected in parallel. So even if one panel is affected, the rest of the all your other panels will continue to generate electricity. If you're in a string inverter, if one panel is affected, the rest of the panels will be also affected because they are looped in a, a series, which is a string. One of my concerns at the time was, what if one panel got problem? For Solaru side, what they told me was that even when one got problem, right, uh, no problem. You can just keep going on as normal and then when you're free, then you get us in to fix it for you. Lah. I feel like it gives me a lot more flexibility and then uh, it's much more safer system in that sense. Yeah. What's the cost of maintaining a solar panel? Uh, and then what are the common problems that are likely face? It's actually very low maintenance per se. There's not much things that you need to be doing to, for it. In Malaysia, we are blessed with weather that rains quite a fair bit here and mm. there. So that helps, helps as a self-cleaning uh, to better wash off any dust or any debris right. that's, that, that's caught on the panel. But should anything happen, our comprehensive maintenance package covers full replacement. We replace it for you, then we'll go through the process of submitting, get it replaced, etc. to ensure that you are, you're also maximizing your generation already. Mm. Whether can claim warranty, cannot claim warranty, you leave it to us. And how would I know whether my, my uh, particular panel unit is functioning or not? We have a whole back-end team, uh, which is another subsidiary of uh, Perkat Group, uh, Bahad, who focuses purely on the, the monitoring and maintenance of all our systems nationwide. Mm. So they, they will get a trigger and alert wherever there's any of this kind of fault, any of this kind of uh, performance drop or performance that's impacting the, any particular panels. And then we will come in to come and help you to troubleshoot to find out what is wrong. Whether is it a cleaning, whether is it a loose connection. So all this will be fully settled to give you a peace of mind. You don't have to pay anything extra. Even the skylift cost, the labour cost, replacement cost is all fully covered as well. Yeah, it's skylift not cheap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes for people like us who are not technical, right? How would I know whether my, my particular uh, panel is really working or not? So you kind of need a team to kind of like manage it. Uh, instead of like waiting for it to drop after three months, you're right? hey, how come I paying so much for electricity, right? So uh, that was one of the attraction points for me. La. It feels almost like you're not just installing a hardware, but you're also buying the software itself. That's right. That's, yeah. right. that's why we have our own Solaru mobile app, which you can uh, log in, you can check what's wrong, uh, you can you can report any faults, you can see the day-to-day -day generation, you can see the live generation as we go as well. Roughly how much will I be saving in terms of electricity uh, with the panels that I've installed? So we installed an eight panel system, which will save you about 250 to 280 uh, ringgit per month. So what happens if your bill, let's say for simple calculations, say 400 ringgit, and you're saving 280, so you may only have to pay TNB about 100, 120 ringgit uh, per month moving forward. Means that one set you were telling me is about four panels, right? So it means that one set helped me to save about 140 ringgit. Yeah. You were showing me this chart just now about how the sun rise and set and how it affects my power generation, right? So obviously, uh, your sun rises from the east, sets to the west. So we want to ensure that uh, there's no tall buildings that are blocking that morning sun to that evening sun because if, if you have a tall building here and the, and the sun is coming from this end here, uh, you will cast a bit of shadow on the panels and that may reduce the overall generation. Luckily for this house positioning, uh, I think it's from uh, east, east to west here. We are not affected by the, the two other buildings on the side and uh, we should be able to get quite quite good, very good generation. How does this whole solar system thing work to help us save electricity? So currently, the Malaysia, we have this policy called the net energy metering. So it's called NEM for short. Okay, so what happens is you do not need to store, you don't need a battery. Whenever the sunlight, you'll be generating electricity. You will first consume the electricity for your house first. So your fan, your 
Wi-Fi currently, your fridge, whatever that's running throughout the day will be running on solar energy first. But there will be a lot of extra because you are not home. There's fewer people using the electricity at home. The extra, you will then export it to TNB. It goes out back to TNB grid for them to use for your neighbours and whatnot. At night, there's no sun, right? So at night, no choice you have to buy from TNB. So what TNB will do at the end of each month, they will calculate how much you have sold to them during the day and they will calculate how much you have bought from them during the night and then they will do a contra. So you only pay the difference. Yeah, how about safe costs in that way also? Yes, that's yeah. right. Malaysia now, we are all talking about reducing subsidy my government, right? True or not? So a lot of people are now talking about buying an EV car. How much does it cost to charge an EV car in the house right now, roughly? Okay, so roughly, if you look at the main few models, the BYD, Tesla, they all have about 60 kilowatt hour battery. If you just charge it roughly four times a month, means once a week, four full charges, you should spend close to between 150 to 250 extra uh, just on your, your charging. So that means that uh, we can estimate for every car you should be looking at four panels. Uh. Yeah, that would be a good, good, mm. good. If let's say I happen to buy an EV, la, right? Then I want to install another panel. La. How does it work? Okay, so the great thing about micro inverter is because it is four to one, it is a very modular system. So based on your usage, if your usage increases, we can just come on Add on four panels and one micro inverter, four panels and one micro inverter on your roof. Oh. All the cables down to your house will be unchanged. You don't have to do any additional hacking, any additional drilling, nothing. Right. We do need to help you to apply, of course, with the with SEDA and to apply for an increase in limit, but that can be done quite quickly. Right. So that's also one of the convenience of this uh, whole micro inverter thing where uh, in future, if let's say my uh, electrical consumption in my house increase, I can easily just add on a couple of panels to uh, meet the needs of my electrical usage, right? And comparing to like uh, the more traditional form of a solar panel, uh, that will be more work involved when I want to install new panel. Can I say that? Yes, yes. It's a bit more complicated. You have to probably have to do a rewiring or change a change to a larger capacity string inverter. Right, right. So the cost will be way more uh, significant. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more troublesome with uh, more cables running, etc. So what we saw was just the roof. Uh, inside the house also, we have some small changes that we added to, to help with the whole solar system. Yep. So this is called a solar DB solar distribution box. Uh -huh. Okay. So we added an extra box before it comes into your house. Why? It adds in a lot more uh, a lot more safety features to ensure that uh, everything is well monitored and, and there's the proper proper breakers in place to, to prevent if there's anything. Right, so that if let's say any form of short circuit or anything, it will be here controlled yes, first. It will trip here. The energy meter will show you a physical reading of all your, your generation. So as soon as you're generating, you see that the, the thing is blinking. So, so the numbers are actually changing there. Oh. So it should show, show you how much you are generating. So it's functioning already. Yeah, it's mentioning. Oh, so I can so see zero point one four D. Then we also have the auto uh, reset ELCB. So if there's any leakage or whatever, this thing will this thing will trip by itself. Uh, but then there's an auto recloser to help it switch it back on. I see. So if I want to off the solar, I off here. Yeah, if you want to off the solar, I can. The solar is just off by just pulling down the this knob, and then this one here. So you can see oh. the, the screen is blank. So your system is off now. So if there's anything, uh, if you have to switch it back on, you can just switch it back on here like that. What's the thing up there? Is it a new Wi-Fi for me? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so that is what we call a data transfer unit. As we mentioned earlier, that you can monitor your, your, your solar generation via our solar room mobile app. Okay. And the way to get the data to your mobile app is through this device called a DTU, a data transfer unit. Oh. So this thing will be connected to our micro inverters and also connected to your house Wi-Fi. So any generation data, all your readings will flow through that and then it comes through to, the, to your cloud, to your mobile right. app. I see, so from home, uh, yeah. from anywhere, I can just monitor it. Lah. Yeah. And that is how, from your end there, you will monitor yes. our our electricity uh, for this, uh, mo this solar panels. Yeah. Ah. How much we are generating, whether there's any problems, your solar generation, is it in line with our our projection, etc. All right, so that's all, right? That's all, that's all. You're thank you so go. much, bro. Congratulations, thank you for coming with Solar Room. Thank you for installing this in my place. <laughs> okay.